see that? Yeah, yeah. 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 So we, we John believes that with the eye of faith, he can see a pretty substantial building, possibly even with a courtyard. John? And within minutes, the archaeology seems to back up his theory. Is this the sort of thing that you might have picked up on this brick? Yeah, I think there should be a cut feature through yeah, here. Yeah, well then, that, that, that's, and that's reflected by this, by this brick and tile, is it? Yeah. It seems like we are on the spot then. And things are also looking up in the understaffed ditch trench. We still haven't got to the bottom of them and hopefully you'll be able to help us with those. <laughs> We've now got a virtually limitless supply of extra diggers from a local college, Christ's Hospital. This also just happens to be the school where our 1920s archaeologist Samuel Winbolt taught. And his legacy looms large here. A lot of these sixth formers are actually studying archaeology. You start from this end, you see this yellow here, you don't want to hit the yellow, so just keep taking this back a bit. Like that. Okay. So in return for some practical experience in trench digging, we're now confident we can get to the bottom of these ditches by the end of day three. Hopefully. These massive ditches didn't enclose just the Mancio, but a whole complex of buildings that would have served Roman officials and traders as they travelled the country. Horses were the main form of transport, so one of the key facilities here would have been the blacksmiths. And among his many jobs, would have been the manufacture of what's believed to be the precursor of the modern horseshoe, the hippo sandal. Although I've seen pictures of these many times in books, I've actually never seen a real one, so I'm really interested in how it's going to look. Luckily, I managed to get up to the British Museum last week and we actually managed to get up close and personal with some, so I could come and make some today. So how are you going to start making them? Well, I've got to take a plate, I've got to forge it down into this nice triangular shape and then turn a loop on the front and then the wings on the side, we're going to have to form those and then weld them on top and bottom. And try and come down on top of it rather than coming back towards it. This design is based on various archaeological finds, but surprisingly, no one's ever tried the theory out on a real live horse. Get in there, go on. That's it, that's the one. So we're using Christ Hospital's fully equipped school forge, yes, school forge, to test how practical this hippo sandal is. Oh, and we will be using a real live horse. Hello, my name's John Gator. Time Team is fan funded by Patreon. This vital support helps us to make new episodes. Joining Patreon gives you access to exclusive interviews 3D models and masterclasses, plus lots more.